Let's suppose I have a, a list of numbers Let's suppose I have a list of numbers, and I want to sort them. But I'm a computer scientist, and sorting is a real pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort half of the list of numbers. Because if I can figure out how to sort half of the list of numbers, then I can just do that for the other half, and we can call it good. right? So let's just take this list and divide it in two. All right, perfect. We're basically done now, because we figured out how to sort something. We just divide it in half. And if we keep dividing things in half, so we take the first half and divide it in half, and then we take the first half again and divide it in half, if we keep dividing things in half, eventually we end up with a sorted list. So a single element list is already sorted. The smallest thing is at the beginning, and the smallest thing is at the end. Because there's only one thing in it, so it has to be sorted. It's brilliant. So all we've done is we've divided things in half, we've ended up with our sorted list, and now what we've got to do is put it back together in about the right order. Okay? So we take the 2 and the 7, and we say, you know what, when we put these back together, 2 is less than 7, and so we'll put the 2 and the 7 first. The 2 and then the 7. So we've made good on our promise to sort the first half of this list here. But when we made that promise, we also promised that we would sort the 6 and the 9. But that's okay, let's do that. We know how to do it now. So if we take the 6 and the 9, we divide them in 2. Now my 6 is sorted, my 9 is sorted, everybody's happy. All I've got to do is put them back together, compare the 6 and the 9, and lo and behold, they go back into order. Now notice that I compared the 6 and the 9. Now when I join these two, I compare the 2 and the 6 and say which one of those is smaller, the two smaller. When I compare the 6 and the 7, I say which one of those is smaller? The 6 is smaller. When I compare the 7 and the 9, which one of those is smaller? The 7. Um, and now I've got the 9. So I've sorted this half of the list like I said I would. And then, because I'm lazy, because I'm a programmer, I promised that I would sort this other half. So that's okay, we know how to do it now. We'll just take the 3 and the 5, and the 1 and the 8, and sort them. And the way that we'll do it is we'll take the 3 and the 5, and we'll sort them. Now I've got a sorted list. I've got to join back the 3 and the 5. Now I've got to join back, I've got to sort my 1 and my 8, so I make them single element lists. I join them back. Now I join these guys back, I compare the 1 and the 3, so the 1 is smaller. I compare the 8 and the 3, so the 3 is smaller. I compare the 8 and the 5, so the 5 is smaller, and I've got the 8 left over. Okay. Now to sort my original list, all I have to do is join these two pieces. So I compare the 2 and the 1, I compare the 2 and the 3, I compare the 6 and the 3, I compare the 6 and the 5, I compare the 6 and the 8, I compare the 7 and the 8, I compare the 8 and the 9, and I'm done with the 9. Okay? And I've sorted my list. Notice in the merge sort, what I'm doing at the beginning is I'm splitting everything, right? I do a split, I do a split, I do a split, I do a split, I do a split until I get a single element list. Once I've got a single element list, it's sorted. The smallest things at the beginning, the, sm the largest things at the end. 
The work in a merge sort, the work in a merge sort, comes when we actually have to merge things back together. We don't do any comparisons until we start merging things back together. And when we merge things back together, I compared the two and the six here. I compared the two and the seven. I compared the two and the six. And then I compared the one and the two. And I compared the two and the three. Okay? So I never compared the two to the nine, the two to the eight, the two to the seven, the two to the six, the two to the five. Right? I only compared it, compared it to the seven, to the I did compare it to six, and I compare it to the one and the three. So because I'm dividing in half each time, I'm reducing the number of comparisons that I have to do. So the average complexity for merge sort is n times log n things. There's n things that I have to compare, and I only have to compare them to half of the things. So I compare them to n log n things. The merge sort is stable, but the merge sort requires, it requires another copy of the data, as we'll see. <laughs>